Anticholinergic, Wikipedia article audio. An anticholinergic agent is a substance that blocks the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the central and the peripheral nervous system. These agents inhibit parasympathetic nerve impulses by selectively blocking the binding of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine to its receptor in nerve cells. The nerve fibers of the parasympathetic system are responsible for the involuntary movement of smooth muscles present in the gastrointestinal tract, urinary tract, lungs, and many other parts of the body. Anticholinergics are divided into three categories in accordance with their specific targets in the central and peripheral nervous system, antimuscarinic agents, ganglionic blockers, and neuromuscular blockers. Anticholinergic drugs are used to treat a variety of conditions. Medical Uses Recreational Uses Anticholinergics generally have antiseologog effects, and most produce some level of sedation, both being advantageous in surgical procedures. When a significant amount of an anticholinergic is taken into the body, a toxic reaction known as acute anticholinergic syndrome may result. This may happen accidentally or intentionally as a consequence of recreational drug use. Anticholinergic drugs are usually considered the least enjoyable by many recreational drug users, possibly because the side effects are so unpleasant and that they do not induce euphoria. There have, however, been a few reported cases of users experiencing what they described as euphoria from the use of an anticholinergic drug. In terms of recreational use, these drugs are commonly referred to as deliriants. The risk of addiction is low in the anticholinergic class, and recreational use is uncommon. Long-term use may increase the risk of both mental and physical decline. It is unclear if they affect the risk of death generally. However, in older adults they do appear to increase the risk of death. Possible effects of anticholinergics include Possible effects in the central nervous system resemble those associated with delirium, and may include Older patients are at a higher risk of experiencing CNS side effects due to lower acetylcholine production. Side effects A common mnemonic for the main features of anticholinergic syndrome is the following. Acute anticholinergic syndrome is reversible and subsides once all of the causative agent has been excreted. Reversible acetylcholinesterase inhibitor agents such as physostigmine can be used as an antidote in life-threatening cases. Wider use is discouraged due to the significant side effects related to cholinergic excess including, seizures, muscle weakness, bradycardia, bronchoconstriction, lacrimation, salivation, bronchorrhea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Even in documented cases of anticholinergic toxicity, seizures have been reported after the rapid administration of physostigmine. Asystole has occurred after physostigmine administration for tricyclic antidepressant overdose so a conduction delay or suggestion of tricyclic antidepressant ingestion is generally considered a contraindication to physostigmine administration. Toxicity Pyracetam, alpha-GPC, and choline are known to activate the cholinergic system and alleviate cognitive symptoms caused by extended use of anticholinergic drugs. Anticholinergics are classified according to the receptors that are affected. Examples of common anticholinergics Pharmacology Plants of the Solanaceae family contain various anticholinergic tropan alkaloids, such as scopolamine, atropine, and hyoscyamine. Examples 
Physostigmine is one of only a few drugs that can be used as an antidote for anticholinergic poisoning. Nicotine also counteracts anticholinergics by activating nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Caffeine is able to counteract the anticholinergic symptoms by reducing sedation and increasing acetylcholine activity, thereby causing alertness and arousal. Plant Sources The most common plants containing anticholinergic alkaloids are Several narcotic and opiate-containing drug preparations, such as those containing hydrocodone and codeine are combined with an anticholinergic agent to deter intentional misuse. Examples include hydromet slash lomotol, and tushinex. However, it is noted that opioid slash antihistamine combinations are used clinically for their synergistic effect in the management of pain and maintenance of dissociative anesthesia in such preparations as meprozine and diconal, which act as strong anticholinergic agents. Use as a deterrent Dizziness, extrapyramidal symptoms, a potential side effect of antipsychotic medications, gastrointestinal disorders, genitourinary disorders, insomnia, although usually only on a short-term basis, respiratory disorders, sinus bradycardia due to a hypersensitive vagus nerve. Poor coordination, dementia, decreased mucus production in the nose and throat, consequent dry, sore throat dry mouth with possible acceleration of dental caries, stopping of sweating, consequent decreased epidermal thermal dissipation leading to warm, blotchy, or red skin, increased body temperature, pupil dilation, consequent sensitivity to bright light, loss of accommodation, double vision, increased heart rate, tendency to be easily startled, urinary retention, Urinary incontinence while sleeping. Diminished bowel movement, sometimes ileus. Increased intraocular pressure, dangerous for people with narrow angle glaucoma. Confusion, disorientation, agitation, euphoria or dysphoria, respiratory depression, memory problems, inability to concentrate, wandering thoughts. Inability to sustain a train of thought, incoherent speech, irritability, mental confusion, wakeful myoclonic jerking, unusual sensitivity to sudden sounds, illogical thinking, photophobia, visual disturbances, periodic flashes of light, periodic changes in visual field, visual snow, restricted or tunnel vision. Blind as a bat red as a beet, hot as a hair, dry as a bone, mad as a hatter, bloated as a toad, and the heart runs alone. Antimuscarinic agents operate on the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. The majority of anticholinergic drugs are antimuscarinics, antinicotinic agents operate on the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. The majority of these are non-depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxants for surgical use that are structurally related to curare. Several are depolarizing agents. Antimuscarinic agents, atropine, benztropine, bipyridine, chlorpheniramine, dicyclamine, dimenhydronate, diphenhydramine, doxepin, doxylamine glycopyrrolate, ipratropium, orphanadrine, oxytropium, oxybutanin, propantholine bromide, tolteridine, sheotropium, tricyclic antidepressants, trihexaphenidyl, scopolamine, silifenacin, tropic amide. Atropa belladonna, Brugmansia species, Datura species, Guria species. Hyacyamus niger, Mandragora officinarum. <laughs>